Hello, everybody. We are picking back up our conversation with FWC to talk about wildlife that you could encounter at parks and trails around the Bay Area. Last week, we talked about alligators and snakes. Today, though, we are talking about wild hogs, vultures, bears, and coyotes. So you want to know about this too. Melody, thank you so much for joining me again. Glad to be here. What do we need to know about wild hogs? So they're non-native, um, but they can be found in all 67 counties in the state of Florida as well. Um, one thing that you can um, pay attention to or look out for that might indicate that wild hogs might be present is um, they do a lot of rooting. So you'll find areas that look like they've been plowed. Keep your distance. Um, don't try to approach them. Can they be aggressive at times? Those types of interactions are, are very unlikely, very rare. All of us have vivid imaginations. <laughs> uh, let's get to a couple questions from Marilee. She wants to know, is it common to run into wild hogs? And are there, is it even possible to specify what parks might have them more than others or preserves? Yeah, that's tough to say because there may be areas where they may mo more likely to be um, found than others. Um, just depending on what the area looks like and um, how much, um, you know, land there is um, for them to forage um, and, and feed. So uh, it just really varies from area to area. Moving on to vultures, Erin wants to know, what do you do if there's a group of vultures on the trail that you need to pass? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, vultures fit a unique role. Um, in, in nature, um, they feed off of dead and decaying carcasses. So not the prettiest thing to see, but it is certainly an important part um, of, of nature and that entire process. And so um, trying to make your way around them and, and not disturb, disturb them will be your, your best option. Let's talk about bears. What kind of bears could you find in Florida how common is it? And Dana wants to know what to do if she encounters one. So in Florida, we have one species of bear. It's the Florida black bear. And they can be found throughout the state, although there are areas in um, mostly Northeast and Northwest Florida um, where they are more common. Uh, but we do have bears in Southwest Florida and um, they can be found just, just about anywhere um, in smaller numbers than, than other areas, but they are certainly there. Um, if you do see a bear, you want to stand upright. Certainly, if you have your dog with you and they're on a short leash, pick up that dog, if at all possible, if it's a small dog, um, and make yourself assertive. Um, use an assertive voice and back away slowly. How about bobcats? What should we know about bobcats? So um, bobcats can be found throughout the state as well. Um, they are smaller than panthers. Oftentimes people will mistake them for a panther, but they are much smaller. Um, and bobcats and coyotes are somewhat similar in size. They can be found, um, especially in um, areas where it's, it's heavily wooded. They are a little more elusive um, generally. And so you may not even see one, but a simple sighting of a bobcat isn't cause for unusual concern. All right, uh, last topic would be coyotes. What should we know there? Coyotes can be found in all 67 counties. Um, they're not native um, and they're not non-native. We call them naturalized. So they moved from Western states into the state of Florida through natural expansion. Um, and so a simple sighting of coyotes is not unusual cause for alarm. And I know a lot of times people think if they see a coyote during the day, there's something wrong, but really they can be found at any time during the day or the night. And it just really depends on when those prey um, sources are most available to them. We have received um, sightings from, from the public. Those things don't need to be necessarily reported to the FWC, but if you encounter a coyote exhibiting unusual behavior or you have some sort of a conflict, we definitely want to hear about those things. That does kind of cover Stephen's question, which was, uh, you know, about coyote sightings during the day and night, what to do and why is it occurring more frequently? Is there any proof that it's occurring more frequently? Not necessarily. A lot of people are at home more often right now, so they may be observing 
um, wildlife in their area a little more, more often and may not know if they're not usually home during the day, what type of wildlife might be present during that time. Melody, thank you so much for chatting again. I really appreciate it. If you want some more information, just head on over to our website, abcactionnews.com. Look for the Good Morning Tampa Bay section and then click on this Walking Club 101 article.